What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Get into another reaction. New episode of Ninja Kamui. Episode 6. Oh, dude, I'm so excited for this. Last episode was a fucking banger. It almost felt like a finale episode. Like, once, like, the episode ended and we started getting into those credits, you know, the ending credits is not the normal ending that we were used to seeing for the past couple episodes. I was like, damn, like, is this a finale, bro? I got me worried for a second. I was like, no way, this is just a short ass little fucking pilot of an anime season, and it's only five episodes. Like, you got me fucked up. There's no way. This shit's too fucking hot. Especially after an ending like that, there's no way they would end. Like, I was, I was a little worried at first, and I was like, and then I checked immediately the episode count. And I think we're apparently supposed to be getting 12 episodes. It's supposed to be a one core type season deal with this uh, first season of Ninja Kamui. So. At least excited in that much, you know, that I was wrong on that. Because at first when I was seeing those, I mean, it, the, the music and everything. And then going into those ending credits, I was like, damn, like this feels like the end of a movie or something. Like the, like a finale of a season. Uh, more than just an end of a, a, an episode. But I think it was just because of how monumental that episode was. I mean, this is the first, like, invasion of Higan getting into Alza City. Uh, even though that he was let in, I mean, he was putting in the work any of these normal ninjas like just stop stepping up bro like you got there's obviously you're gonna get your shit rocked at this point you know what i'm saying you can send all the fodder all the little fucking bots you want to take out he gone he's not going to fucking waver in front of those motherfuckers like he was just putting in work as usual against those regular ninjas and then for the first time really we saw uh him start to struggle a little bit and that's when he we first see these mech suits i i guess you could call them i mean that's what it looks like to me you know all these uh individuals i, I don't even think we got to see everybody that was in each mech besides the small ninja motherfucker that keeps on talking about bending he gone over and shit but i think it was pretty much most of the people that are at that table and because yamaji was up in the helicopter we see the small ninja in one of the suits I think one of them had kind of like that high, like, you know, their their helmet was like kind of like longer going up, which I'm assuming is Big D because he has that high top, flat top haircut. And then one of, uh, and, then, and then two others that I don't think we really got to see who was on the inside at all. And then obviously the big one, the pink mech that was obviously fighting alongside the rest of the mechs. But when it came down to it, when Reaper was about to execute Higan, that pink mech stepped the fuck in and saved him and took him away. And as we also saw, he gone try to use that technique or he did use that technique again. And I was wondering at this point, cause Yamaji keeps on saying, we need to figure out his secret art first. We need to figure out his secret art. We can't go into this blind. So has he really not used it yet? Or is this, is this technique where he like goes, like he pulls whatever out of his wrist. Is that the secret art? And he just couldn't, continue and go through that momentum because he's used it too many times already so like he kind of just got rid of his stam stamina really quickly or he just simply like couldn't step up to all those mechs that easily i mean it was 4v1 and all of them are in mechs in this new technology that you know they have armor and shit like they seem to be handling him pretty easily even though he's a badass ninja so I wonder if that is a secret art or if it's just some other technique that he should not be using, you know, obviously constantly or or he shouldn't be using it at all because according to the doctor that patched him up last time, he's like, never use it again. You're going to die. And so he went on, he went into that fight after pulling that, you know, little needle out and using that technique again. He went into it like, okay, I'm going to fucking die. Like he was pr fully prepared to die. He was like talking to his family in his head like, we'll, uh, we'll see each other again very soon. You know, he was fully prepared to die right there. But the pink mech suit, whoever is in the suit, I'm assuming is the ex ninja that has been, you know, in contact with him, uh, giving him information, allowing him, or you know, at least uh, guiding him on on trying to infiltrate the Alza City the first time before they just inevitably let him in. Um, I'm assuming that's who this is. It's got to be the ex ninja. But like, what if it's? I mean, if it's the if if it is the ex ninja, then like the ex ninja was under these or a part of this group of the higher ups in Alza city, like, you know, Mark Zuckerberg looking motherfucker, Yamaji, you know, a part of this new age of the higher ups in this, in this company and in this clan, uh, while also apparently being an ex ninja or exiled ninja. So how did that 
come about if that is the case if the, if it is the exile ninja in this mech suit i wonder but other than that we also saw mike morris go and talk to this other guy that was apparently a researcher for alza for a short amount of time they tried to hack into um alza's servers and get some any sort of information that they could have uh that would give them any sort of advantage or you know whatever just any info they could get uh they realized it all of a sudden mercenaries pull up they had to fucking you know run away got into a car chase Mike Moore, sharpshooter, taking some motherfuckers out in that car chase. Uh, and then it looks like he was shot. And then at the end, you know, was being helped, you know, walk away by the guy that he uh, went to go interrogate uh, that he got that info from Emma. And then it just so happens that while they were, you know, the little bit of information that he did get before the mercenary showed up, they found this list of a bunch of people's names, social security numbers, and I don't know, maybe money involved with that. On that list as well and one of the names on there was emma's his subordinate and his colleague that is also part of the fbi so she's involved in this in a little bit more than we were thinking or way more than we were thinking than we thought initially because she's either way higher up in the fbi and then they were keeping tabs on mike morris through her because you know obviously him and emma mike and emma trust each other you know what I'm saying? And Mike doesn't have any reason to believe that she was a lackey of the higher up of the FBI for any reason. Uh, at least according to his knowledge up until now. So she could be a higher up in the in the FBI or maybe she's on the ninjas and Alza's Al 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 side somehow involved in all this. It's very interesting information that we just haven't gotten confirmation on yet. So I'm hoping that's what we get this episode and see who's behind this pink mech suit and find out some more you know background info on what's really going on with emma and why her name's on that list uh and where we go from here you know if hegon's gonna need to be patched up again if they're leaving the city or if they just went somewhere else and staying in this i mean i feel like you'd have to leave the city because they have cameras and, and all kinds of stuff everywhere so i don't feel like you're gonna be able to really hide anywhere in the city if you stay here so i feel like they're gonna have to leave but Let's find out. Let's get in the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below, comment, subscribe for new, hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Ninja Kamui, episode six. I love that Adult Swim intro. Just the ding, ding. It makes it really easy to sync up the audio for my reactions. I love that shit. Really convenient for me. Yeah, so the one on the right, I think, is Big D. Why did she help him? Okay, so it's a she. That's all we get in the end of the opening. All right. Come on, give me something. All right, come on. Come on, give me something. I need info immediately. Okay, we're not going to get that radio info because this dumbass motherfucker yawning. Love that. Wait, what? Oh! Wow, so a lot of the newer ninjas that are under Yamaji are like, they have like a disguise of regular people in Alza City, but they're actually ninjas. And they just all got the word on like what happened and who's the traitor. And I, I, I think it's Emma. Oh shit. It's Emma? Emma was in that mech suit? Ah, yeah. And it isn't my real face. Uncover the truth by your resurrection. So this mech, Emma, was the one that was... Yeah, nah, Mike doesn't know about Emma's true... Uh, background. Yep. So she's both. She's the exile ninja that was helping him. And then also betrayed Alza, who she was un really under, trying to figure out their his secret art. 
次に奴らと戦えば今度こそ命はないそれがどのような技であれあの状況から脱するのは無理だったはず Yeah, they, we just got, we, that's what we realized this last episode <laughs> is that these mechs are not to be trifled with Oh, he's gonna get his own mech? Yo, nah! <laughs> Yo, nah! I know he's still gonna look crazy, too. Yep, they're still checking every location that they can in the city. Haven't been able to find them. So, yeah. Emma being a part of this organization, I mean, she really knows how to cover her tracks, it seems like, because it seems like they're still in the city. Work in harmony with ninja techniques. Mm. Ah, she's a part of the development team, so no wonder. She knows a lot about this. Like a new body for you. So, oh, she's not even done finished developing it. We're dead. They're not having any luck finding them. They cannot find them. That's what I'm saying. She, bro, she knows a lot. She planned this shit really far in advance. Bro, if he about to have his own mech combined with his other ninja techniques, I mean, if he's still gonna be using them when he puts the mech on, but like still, bro, he gonna be diffy. <laughs> <laughs> Ten whole days? Seems like y'all are safe for now. I mean, if it's been 10 days and he's been chilling by himself, losing his fucking mind because he's been passed out, I'd say they're fucking safe for now. Yep, so now we, yeah, now we know, I mean, we know now, yeah, why Emma's name was on there. It's because she's part of that higher-up group. She was under Alza and the Order of the New Ninjas, but she betrayed them. While also being the one that was helping he gone. Alright, Emma! Alright! Yeah, the parts that she needs are only available at headquarters? Ah, oh, fuck. Hmm. He's dreaming about his family. Mm. Oh, her own philosophy. Her own beliefs. He really loved her, man. My fan is laying extra fly today. Alright, Big D. You gonna try and infiltrate. Take out the fucking vermin in y'all's little perfect city. Bro, his suit. I wanna see him actually put that shit on, bro. This shit looks wild. Meant to achieve the highest level of combat achievable? At the same instant they think of it. Wow. The will and actions of his user. Connected to to his brain, bro? Like, nah, dude. This man is gonna fucking wreck shit with this suit on. Ah. 
特別な経絡をつくことで肉体の細胞の動きを止め一時的に過死状態とする技 Suspended animation Yeah, so it looked like he was dead もはや二度と蘇ることはできないなぜ俺を生き返らせた妻や息子じゃなく俺をお二人が生きていれば俺の命だとどうでもよかった Look, who, look at the way he, like, he levitates and just moves naturally. Big D, bro. Oh my god, that fade fucking crazy. Oh shit! It's a fucking bomb. <laughs> I just came to the room. <laughs> Fortune cookie. Oh, they're constantly on the move. <laughs> Dale pushing a stroller. Wow, they're inside an 18 wheeler. Wow, we saw that truck at the very beginning of the episode, too. What a crazy foreshadowing you wouldn't even notice until this part of the episode. And this time I'm going to climax. This guy is fucking sick. Well, it's now or never. The fucking suit doesn't seem to be ready, but I think he's gonna have to put it on regardless. What the fuck is that? Is that to power it up? Oh, bro, we're gonna see two of these mechs go at it already, bro? Oh my god. Bro, she not answering, bro. She got a lot of other shit on her plate than to be dealing with you. That computer's still good within that car, bro? Oh shit, here we go. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I prefer more foreplay than this. Bro, what is she doing on the keyboards while she's fighting? What does she just do? What does she- She just hacked into something while she's fighting? Nah, she's- Nah, Emma's too lit, bro. Bro, she's controlling cars and drones and shit too? Oh, nah, bro. Yeah, he's just a selfish fuck that likes to enjoy himself, bro. He doesn't listen to rules or fucking regulations or the organization. He listens to himself. That's what I'm saying. Like, he doesn't even come close to imagine he gone in this fucking suit, bro. One of the most badass ninjas of the old age. Clones? Ah, oh, shit, bro. Or no, no, they're not clones, but uh, it, from what he's seeing in his point of view through his suit is clones. And only one of them is the real one. That's wild. She already, she hacked into his suit. Bro, Emma is smart as fuck. Fire combined with electricity? Yeah, that's gonna fucking get rid of all those fucking clones that you see. This is so badass. I love this, bro. Combination of ninjas and mechs, bro. Like, who would have thought? This is a dope idea. So you gotta recharge multiple times? She's And he destroyed hers, so she can't recharge? Damn, bro. Oh, bro. Come on, he gone. Come on, bro. You gotta just put that suit on off of instinct, right? Just a little more. Okay, it's charging up. It's charging up. Okay. 
Directly into your subconscious, like, nah, bro, this shit is wild. Oh, wow. See, just goes back to show again, like, how kind Mary was. She really tried to protect his whole family. Wow. That's gonna make him feel even more raged if Emma actually dies here, which it looks like is the case. Come on, come on! That suit's almost fucking done! Get in that fucking suit, baby! Come on! Oh, bro, she died. Sayonara. Goodbye. Wow. Oh, fuck, baby. Oh, nah. 100%. Oh, the soundtrack! Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Turn the fuck up. Come on. Turn it up, baby. Come on. Nah, the soundtrack is fire! Be as cold as fire and as hot as ice. By forging your mind. Not his soul looks so fucking tough, baby! No! 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 Why? Why? Why do you have to end there? Oh my god, that cliffhanger was even worse than last week's. Oh my god, bro. Nah, that was too fucking scuff, bro. Right as that shit's heating up like that? Right as you show me the suit? Right as you tickle my fucking balls with the suit, bruh? Oh. Oh, bruh. That's criminal. That's fucking criminal, dude. Yo, nah, that was hyping me up so much at the end, bro. That soundtrack, him coming out of the fucking truck with that suit on it, bro. We didn't even get the full looks of it, but that shit already looked badass, bruh. Nah. Nah, bro, that shit was so hype, bro. Oh my god, what a gas fucking episode. Alrighty, guys, what an absolutely outstanding episode of Ninja Kong movie. That was... Bro, that shit was heating the fuck up, bro. Oh my god, that shit was gas. I mean, we got pretty much everything that we wanted to know within this episode pretty quickly. And that was that the pink mech suit who was in it, Emma herself. And that's just one of her... You know, a couple personas that she probably has because that one that, you know, the face that she's that that Higan's used to seeing that we're used to seeing that Emma persona. That's just a face that she uses, you know, with it through the technology that they have in Alza, just like how he had that one, you know, collar or, or maybe he still has it on where you're able to change your face. You know, what I'm saying how we saw Higan as a completely different person at first, like this blonde guy. Right. Um, same thing with Emma. You know, that's just one of her personas and the one that we recognize as the audience and whoever she's met or who he gone you know he gone recognizes that person that persona emma as would mike and mike doesn't even know anything about this still not answering the phone it's been 10 days apparently since this fucking shit happened but also since you know mike uh and the one guy like got in that car chase and he got shot apparently he called one of his doctor friends to patch him up that's how he's good now and he's been like in a coma or, you know passed out for like 10 days and you know Buddy's been losing his mind, drinking himself to death. Not to death, but, you know, trying to distract himself with alcohol because he's just so fucking anxious about the mercenaries and owls in general since they tried to hack into their servers and they got found out. So they've been kind of, he's been kind of losing his shit since Mike has just been sleeping. But then, you know, eventually wakes up and we see that they're at, you know, I guess like the doc, one of the doc, the, his doctor buddies, like one of his like getaway houses, you know what I'm saying? A house they don't even come to around this time of year. So, you know, it's a perfect hiding spot for them. And if Mike's been asleep for 10 days and they haven't been found yet while, while buddy was just losing his fucking mind and from anxiety and stress, then I would, I would say it's safe to say that they don't know where they're at. So that's good on that front. And then, um, they were trying to think of a way to get in contact with Higan or Emma since Emma's not answering her phone or Mike, you know, keeps calling her and is not answering. She's, and he's like, I don't, we need a computer, man. And, it, you know, especially since, you know, Buddy mentioned, like, he can't go back to his, his home. And it's like, you came there and then, like, they found us out there. So, like, we can't go back to there. And, you know, his ex and Mike's expertise is not in computers. That's Emma's expertise. So, 
He was like, okay, what the fuck? And then he and then he remembered. He was like, wait, I know where we can find a computer. And he and it showed that car in the shop, in, in, in some shop. I, did, I I thought it was completely fucking busted. I mean, if it got fucking, if it got made it made it flip over by another truck that hit it, and and multiple bullet holes through the roof and fucking stab, you know, stabbings from a fucking blade. <laughs> I was I was thinking like that computer that computer car is just fucked, but I, I guess like they're gonna go try and get to that computer car to use that as a computer and and you know try and get in contact with Egon or Emma, you know that was their that was their plan of action on Mike Morris's side and and the other guy that he has with him you know one of the researchers from Alza that worked there for a little bit so that's what we got on that side but then the rest of the episode the real meats of this is we found out that the pink mech suit is Emma. She is also, uh, not only was, you know, she like a part of the new ninja organization under Yamaji and also like, you know, a part of this, you know, the, the, the big table, you know what I'm saying, of the higher ups in, in this organization of the combination between the ninja clan and Alza. Uh, but she was also uh, that ex ninja that um, was helping Higan, trying to get him into the city and whatnot. So she was the one that was behind all this all along and she finally decided to betray them and like obviously couldn't keep her identity of like her true intentions a secret anymore since she had to save Hegon in that moment last episode. So that obviously made her, you know, betrayal known. You know what I'm saying? It's obviously a betrayal. And so they started looking for them all around the city and they were on the move the entire time. They were in an 18 wheeler like truck. And that's where she had like, I guess kind of like a makeshift lab and she's been trying to get this suit for Higan, you know, a prototype that apparently is like, you know, better than all of the others that have come out so far. Or maybe they're all the same prototype, but this one I think is a little special from what the, what she was saying. And it might be like the just the perfect, I mean, it, in terms of the looks, the looks seem like it's going to be the perfect look for Higan and his cause and his revenge and just his character in general the whole red and everything like bro i cannot wait to see that suit in full bro like that tease they gave us at the end of this ep episode is crazy but anyways she explains the whole reason why she saved them why she betrayed them and then we get that message at the end as she's basically dying you know getting mutilated by that small ninja motherfucker who you know thinks he's top you know tough shit you know she basically is playing a message directly into his subconscious you know that you know if you're hearing this then it, it might be very likely that i'm already dead which she was dying as the message was playing into his subconscious and he basically and she was basically saying like yeah like you know i was a f f friend of mari's or, or or mary's and uh you know i actually did try to save like all your family but it was too late by the time i got there and that's why i was only able to save you and, you know, I thought I could at least, like, you know, make her dream come true or, you know, uh, one of her dreams, which is just for you to have a long life or to, to you to keep on living, you know. Um, and that's pretty much what I set out to try and do. And uh, that really hit home for Higan, even though he's, like, still, like, kind of unconscious and it's in his subconscious as he's, like, waking up and the suit's still charging. And... I mean, that really just hit home for him. And uh, as a story as a whole, like, Emma really tried her fucking best to, like, save his family. Like, she, that's a character that put in a lot of work that we only found out her true identity and her true attention, intentions in the span of 20 minutes. And the character's already gone. I mean, that's a really well-written character, if you ask me. And uh, very honorable in that much of a fact. Like, holy shit, bro. And so, yeah, that message is playing and, you know, she was fucking fending off the small ninja dude in his suit. And, you know, we're seeing two mechs go at it for the first time or, or two ninjas in mechs going at it for the first time. This type of combat. I mean, it was fucking crazy. She's hacking shit at the same time while she's fighting. Absolutely insane stuff. Like, I just I just love the concept of Ninja Conway and what it's turned into. Like, I was not expecting mechs to be a part of his story, but I'm all for it. The combination of mechs and ninjas. I mean, that's a crazy concept. I think it's so fucking cool. And the fact that our boy Higan, who we've already fallen in love with from his capabilities and his hand-to-hand -hand combat and how badass he is, now he's going to have his own fucking badass mech, and he's out for fucking blood. Oh, nah, bro. Like, that that soundtrack that kicked in at the end as that, you know, they, they finished, that subconscious mesh is finished playing, and he starts suiting up, and you just see, you just barely see his suit kind of, like, uh, figure in the darkness from the truck lighting up. And we don't even see it in its full form yet, like just fully out in the open. And then the episode ends. I mean, dude, holy shit, what a climactic moment. Like that shit was so 
fucking gas, bro. That shit was that shit was lit. That was a good fucking episode, bro. A lot of info. Got our questions answered about you know the ex ninja, the person in the mech being Emma, all the background on her, why she did what she did, uh, helping Higan, and then Higan getting his own suit. Her being one of the ones that was you know the the developers or one of the main developers for creating these suits. So that's why she knows so much about this. Why that's why she's so good with computers and uh really made all this happen for Higan to be able to be standing in this mech suit right here right now i mean brav fucking oh baby brav oh holy shit what an episode that shit was fucking amazing so yeah i think that about covers it episode six a goddamn amazing one outstanding episode of jacomwe I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to do it for me in the reaction. If y'all enjoyed it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.